fatty pancreas. Not the fatty liver. Today we are talking about fatty pancreas. Interesting, right? Well, fatty pancreas actually can cause pancreatic cancer too, not just diabetes. So people are discovering more and more evidence that pancreas, or by the fatty pancreas, is linked to developing diabetes. A recent study found that those with fatty pancreas had almost two times higher risk of developing diabetes after 10 years compared to those who did not have the same amount of fat in their pancreas. Also, each percentage increase in pancreatic fat content resulted in a 7% increase when it came to the risk for incident of diabetes. With such high stakes, scientists are eager to further explore the effects of fatty pancreas on long-term health. So, let's talk about this new paper from Cedar sinai researchers say that fat buildup in the pancreas is an understudied condition which can lead to pancreatic cancer, not just diabetes. That paper was published actually in eBiomedicine, which is part of the Lancet Discovery Science family of journals. So, very reputable. Now, pancreatic steatosis, which is a medical term for fatty pancreas, is when fats get into the pancreas, the, or when the pancreas gets inflamed because of the fat. According to the World Health Organization, the number of people who have it has nearly tripled from 1975 to 2016, which is a trend that has been linked to rising obesity rates. Studies show that pancreatic steatosis may affect anywhere from 10 to 60% of the people in the world. Now, non-alcoholic fatty pancreatic disease is a growing but still largely unknown issue. It is most often an incidental finding on abdominal ultrasounds, leaving it unexplored and associated metabolic conditions, as well as it is potential link to pancreatic cancer undiscovered. As you know, pancreatic cancer is very, very deadly. It kills you within a year or two, no matter what you do. Healthcare professionals are beginning to take a closer look into that phenomenon. Now, researchers suggest that a single ultrasound actually can detect this metabolic disorder, showing promising early detection of potential pancreatic issues. So, gaining better insight into the clinical significance of non-alcoholic fatty pancreatic disease could be the key to improve outcomes, preventing diabetes and pancreatic cancer. Again, they did not really st study pancreatic steatosis as much as the non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which everybody is scared, but it may be starting with fatty pancreas before it becomes fatty liver, right? So there aren't any guidelines right now for how to diagnose or treat it. But so far, we know that achieving a healthier body starts with making the right decisions to ensure best outcomes like preventing pancreatic fatty disease, right? Or fatty pancreatic disease. Now, therapeutically, reducing pancreatic fat accumulation requires a combination of healthy eating, weight loss, and exercise. And for those who are using sugar MD super berberine, also are lucky because it can give you a boost towards reaching those goals. Our super berberine is designed to naturally support the healthy glucose balance by helping increase the metabolic and meal-related satiety hormones in individuals who are overweight. So it is really an invaluable tool for anyone looking to start their health and wellness journey. But why am I talking about this study today? Because understanding what causes pancreatic steatosis or fat, how the same mechanisms might lead to pancreatic cancer, is very important because these mechanisms might explain other cancers that are caused by the obesity. Now, this paper looks at 70 epidemiological and animal studies that have already been published and summarizes what is known about fatty pancreas. The authors 
talk about two main ways that pancreatic steatosis is thought to happen. One is when healthy pancreatic cells that help break down food die and are replaced by fat cells. The authors say that alcohol abuse, liver disease, diseases that are present at birth like cystic fibrosis, malnutrition, some medications, some viral infections, they are all linked to this process. So it's not just all lifestyle related. Scientists have written about a second way that fat can get into the pancreas. This happens when fat from other parts of the body flows into the pancreas. Studies have found a link between the pancreas storing fat and having more visceral fat, which is the fat that wraps around your organs. So study author says that most of what is known about how pancreatic fat accumulates is still wrong. Studies have shown that bariatric surgery may actually reduce the amount of fat that gets into the pancreas. However, effective treatments are not well understood at this time. Now, the authors want more research into the biological signs of pancreatic steatosis and the molecular processes that cause it, as well as more clinical trials that compare different ways to diagnose the disease. Finally, let's touch base on acute pancreatitis, which is more likely in the setting of fatty pancreas. Acute pancreatitis is more than a simple tummy ache. For adults afflicted with this, the risk for developing diabetes is alarming. Over a five-year period after diagnosis, between 15 and 24% of people struggling with acute pancreatitis or had acute pancreatitis will experience diabetes at some point. This risk alters drastically over time as staggering 40% of patients living with or have a history of pancreatitis develop diabetes within five years. With such a serious condition, it is no wonder medical professionals continue to research and treat the causes of this disease in both children and adults to help prevent potential lifespan complications. Well, if you have been ignoring the telltale signs of excess fat in your pancreas, it is time to wake up. Don't procrastinate any longer. As you enjoy the delicious food, don't forget that a healthy pancreas is key for your improved health. The easiest way to reduce fat in your pancreas is to practice healthy eating habits and move more. A balanced diet rich in vitamins and minerals is the best way to keep your pancreas functioning at its finest, while exercising regularly will help ensure all systems are running smoothly. So put down the potato chips and pick up an apple, right? It is time to slim down that fatty pancreas. Remember to use sugar MD supplements for optimal pancreas health as well. And I'll see you next time when you have a slimmer pancreas. Talk to you later. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.